thought I'd do a little follow-up on this solar panel angle considerations with a graphic here that kind of tells the story that might make it easier for people to understand. So here we are near the spring equinox and what happens there is the Sun all over the world regardless of your location the Sun's going to come up due east and it's going to set due west. As it's rising up at solar noon the angle that it will be above your location will be equal to your latitude and you'll have essentially a 12 hour day 12 hours of sunlight 12 hours of night if you compare that to the winter the sun comes up south of east is shallower in the sky and at the winter solstice December 21st it'll be about 23 and a half degrees down which is the tilt angle of the earth below your latitude and at sunset it will the sun will go down south of west in most in many locations and if you look the number of hours that the sun is up in the winter time is much shorter now if we compare that to what's going to happen this summer and that's what we're setting up for now see the sun can come up north much more north of east will end up much higher in the sky and at the summer solstice it will be up to 23 and a half degrees above your normal latitude and then will set much more north of west now if I take a look at my example here with Minnesota our Sun on the summer solstice will rise at 55 degrees which is to the east northeast travel through the sky and it'll set at 305 so so much more north of west and the problem is if you have a set of fixed solar panels facing due south like you should maybe set up at your normal latitude or maybe a little higher for your summer uh, setting that the panel still will not be exposed to the Sun for many hours matter of fact it'll be a <clears throat> probably it'll be around 7 a.m. before the angle of the Sun is such that the panels will be exposed to light and the same thing happens on the other part of the day more like at uh, 14 hours in is where the Sun will stop shining on the panel and you get to do west and you won't get any on the panel so that's a good reason to consider some strategy to be able to take advantage of the the uh, Sun as it's on the west side as well as or on the east side as well as on the west side by either having staggered panels or some kind of tracker set up now if I look at the monocrystalline solar panel power curve that I drew the other day which is the basically the this is the kind of performance you'll get out of a, a standard monocrystalline polycrystalline kind of solar panel where it'll at solar noon facing south will get a hundred percent of its available power and then any either side of that will get less power and you can tell I put it on these one hour hash marks since the earth rotates at 15 degrees per hour you can see one hour before noon how, what percent of the power would be available two hours before noon how much power you'll get out and you can use this chart to get an estimate of either how much power you should be getting with an ideally placed set, uh, solar panel or a set of panels that are not exactly aligned with where the Sun is because this also works uh, west, nor east and west as well as north and south the panel doesn't really care the other thing I've added on here is if you I added some hash marks where you can determine at the <coughs> at the four hour point you, how much power you can get out in this case no matter where you have this panel if it's pointing right towards the Sun you can get four hours worth only at 
above 83% available power. Looking at a six hour perspective, you'll get up to 63% of the available power. You can tell that solar panels only have a, uh, a certain range that they can capture a lot of the sun power. They're not ideal. Anyway, I'll put a version of this as a graphic in the description area and you can download it for your purposes. It's a good handy tool to use to determine if the kind of power that you're getting out of your panels is what you expect because what might be happening is there's nothing wrong with your system other than your panel may not be pointing exactly towards where the sun is in the sky on the day you're doing your measurements. So I wanted to put this chart together for myself. I can also use it to uh, show other people, tell them about how a solar panel works. And uh, you're welcome to uh, use it for your own purposes. So have a good day.